Hey guys, happy Friday. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. We got tons of stuff going on over here and we have a brand new set of 20 sign carvers of the day, SCOTDs, and we're gonna just jump right in them. So a lot of really great stuff here, very motivational and uh, thought provoking, some really good ideas. So first up, oh, by the way, before I forget, this is uh, what, August 25th through September 10th. And that'll be in the title as well. We have Chris Alford. This is his very first sign. And he's actually, you can't tell by this picture, but he's got LEDs around the outside on rope lights. And he made this for a friend. I think it's terrific. And, it, and it's a great kind of a niche. Island signs and five o'clock somewhere signs, I, I think is a great niche to go after. Great job on this, Chris. Love it, buddy. Next, we have Lou Proton Tennis. And um, this is a really cool sign. This family has two sons in the Navy, Naval Academy and a daughter that just became a professional ballerina. So that is the motif of this sign. Uh, terrific job, Lou. Love it. I love the red, white, and blue. Next, we have Shane Northridge from the UK. Shane does amazing stuff. If you guys have been watching very long, you've seen Shane many times on Sign Carvers of the Day. Shane just cut some uh, cutouts out of fencing and uh, Yosemite Sam is 15 by 9, uh, Elmer Fudd is 19 by 10, and Foghorn is 15 by 9. And these are uh, all routered and cut out using a scroll, shop, scroll saw. Next, John Roselli. So he carved this out of oak, 48 inches long. Uh, great work. Uh, John and obviously looks like he's using our uh, Clarendon letters and numbers our layout letters and numbers uh, Really well done John very very nice Next we have Roger Courtney his second sign ever Roger Courtney his second sign ever and uh, That's pretty ambitious going after the army logo like that great job Roger I uh, hope you're having fun keep it up buddy Next, we have Gareth Jukes, made this for a friend uh, as a gift, then got some business from it. So I think it looks terrific, Gareth. Uh, you're doing great stuff, buddy. Hope you're having a good time over there. Next, we have Joe DeAngelis. This is, uh, again, Joe has been on Sign Carvers of the Day several times. This is a Jimi Hendrix sign and I think is uh, a, a mixture of carving and overlay stuff. I'm actually, I'm not sure. It may all be carved away, but uh, looks great, Joe. Love the way your signs are coming out. Trent DeSaltis, and this is 15 by 23, made it out of cedar decking boards, made for his daughter's friend. She drives a purple Jeep. Jeep girl, I really like that. Got a Sasquatch in the back there, a Bigfoot. Well done. Very nice, Trent. Next, we have Barack Loft. This is his very first sign. And uh, actually, I think it's Jack Burak. Uh, Burak Loft just happened to be the name in the email. But I believe it's Jack Burak. Uh, I apologize if I'm wrong on that. But this is very first sign. And he'll have more signs coming up in future SCOTDs. But uh, terrific job, man. I love it. Great work. Scott Christian, our buddy from the Phoenix area. So this is one of his flags, and he put the Freedom Eagle up in the field, did some torching on there. Very nice work, Scott. Good job, buddy. Next, we have Richard Hotchkiss, and he's got four different signs here. The regular traditional flag, the blue line flag, obviously the buffalo and the wild horses on rounds. Nice work, Richard. Uh, these are all stuff that I could see selling very fast if people see them. Great job, Richard. Michael Todd, one of his very first. This wood is poplar that he glued two pieces together and uh, made a nice little lake sign. I think that is, again, a stock sign that would sell in the tourist areas uh, around lake life. And I think it's terrific. Looks really, really good, Michael. Hope you're having fun, buddy. Next, we have Jim Rogers. Jim Rogers is our buddy up in Las Vegas. So this is um, one that he has done. And he actually, he did this a while back and finally sent us a picture of it. And I love the kind of the diamond pattern on the ends. I think it looks terrific. 
Great job, Jim. Um, I, I'm sure that that is a sign that would sell all day long. Beautiful work, buddy. Ron Beard. And he made this for a friend. These, these, both of these signs for a friend. Looks like you might have done a little torching on them. But uh, great job. You're holding a really good line. I love the beer mugs and all the artwork on there. Great work, Ron. Hope you're loving what you're doing. Keep it up, buddy. Great idea for a stock sign. Wayne Whiting down in Tucson. I think yeah. Wayne came to our class down in Tucson. Great job, Wayne. I, I love what you're doing. I'm sure we'll see you soon. I think he's coming to the meetup. Oh, sweet. I believe. I think he is. Anyway, good job, Wayne. Hope you're having a good time, buddy. And here is Robert Gresco. Used our stencil for This Is Us stencil on a piece of Live Edge. And uh, looks really, really good, Robert. Love it. I hope you're selling some. Fabrice Best. Over in France, I believe. And we've had some stuff from him in the sign carvers of the day in the past that have just been fantastic. Here's another great one. King of Clubs, 14 and a half by 12 and a half. Very nicely done and love all the color. King of Clubs, I love it. Great job, Fabri Fabrice. Excuse me. Ronnie Bunyak. Uh, and this one is very different, very unique. I really love all the colors, the blending of the colors. A lot of uh, flowers and roses on there. Great job, Ronnie. I don't know how long you've been carving, but you did a really good job on this. Looks like it's kind of set on a, a big block, but um, looks great. Some torch work on there. Good job, buddy. Stephen Harrell. Uh, this is a sign for out in front of his house because he sells honey. Obviously a beekeeper, but anyway, I'm sure that that will get some attention from people driving by. Great job, Stephen. Last but not least, a very first sign, um, Robert, Kowalski, Kro, Kro, Kwa, Robert Krakowski. Um, and this is a, a mixture of carving and overlay. So uh, good job, Robert. Hope you're enjoying it, having fun. So there they are, guys. There are the sign carvers of the day between 825, August 25, and September 10th. Hope you uh, got something out of here. You know, every time we do these, we get a lot of comments from people that said, I hadn't thought about that. That's a great idea. There's some great niche ideas in here. Really good first time sign carvers. Um, if you guys have any questions, please email me. The website is right up here in the corner if you need supplies. Thanks so much for watching, and we've got lots more coming, so stay tuned. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.